You're watching Lucky Sparrow TK. Oh, Bart! I can't believe you did this! I wanted to surprise you for Christmas. Oh, sweetie! This is the best present a mother could get! Yo, what's up, guys? I wanted to make this video talking about Aaron Judge today. He has had an impeccable season, and I wanted to talk about specifically the Aaron Judge situation. Aaron Judge has reached base 14 times in the last five games. He struck out 121 times this season and has 42 home runs this season. Well, the biggest situation that is involving with Aaron Judge is that these pitchers, they just want to walk Aaron Judge. He's too deadly. He's going to hit a home run. That's what these pitchers think. It doesn't matter where it's inside the zone. But Aaron Judge is going to leave it all on the line and power it through. And I don't truthfully know if Aaron Judge, whenever he's going at bat, if he's just trying to get a hit or a home run, I believe he is just trying to get a hit because he gets a lot of solid base hits. They aren't always home runs. There's other baseball players that are going to try to get home runs every single time because that's the only way for them to stay in the league while well, they're batting like 200. But that's not the situation for Aaron Judge. He's batting like 320. That's definitely not the situation at all. But I, I, I just hate this as a Yankees fan because I want to see Judge hit every single time. I mean, sure, it's good that he's getting on base, and Austin Wells has been red hot for the Yankees, bringing in all the RBIs and getting those home runs. He's been batting like a ridiculous like 400 average in the last 10 games. What he's doing is not normal. You don't see these type of performances, and you never see somebody get walked this many times whenever he's uh, appearing in an at-bat. But just because of how good Aaron Judge is, he's getting walked almost every time. Like Some days, they'll, the pitchers will decide, Hey, I'll pitch to him, but what happens? He goes three for three, a home run double and a single, something like that, and, or just three singles in a row because that's what Aaron Judge can do for the Yankees. The, the Aaron Judge is the Yankees. I can solely say that just because of how talented he is. Sure, there are other players on the Yankees. I'll help him for the win, but Aaron Judge is doing so much for the team. He's doing so much more than any other player could do in the MLB right now. Aaron Judge might go down as one of the best MLB players of all time if he can keep this up. You know, it's a big uh, what if, like Aaron Judge, hopefully he never gets injured, hopefully he doesn't get injured or any type of bad injuries and he could keep playing as good as he can. I'm sure he's gonna have some slumps here and there, but knowing how deadly he can be for a team and his sole purpose relying on his sole attributes he can be a, a deadly weapon. That's what it is, firing that sniper rifle to left center with his bet. Yo, this is going far distance. Okay, like a 460 foot home run, it's a moonshot. Yeah, that's what Aaron Judge does. I had to talk about this because I've never seen this before where a player gets walked so many times that it's kind of questionable. I'm saying like, are you gonna give him a chance? Is he gonna get a home run? Uh, it's just a crazy, crazy situation this isn't even like a barry bond situation this is an aaron judge situation you can name it after aaron judge it's that type of thing because nobody in as mlb fans has ever seen this before maybe i walked this many times and reached base so many times that's because that's what aaron judge does he has a good eye at the plate and he's not going to swing I think from here on out, Aaron Judge doesn't really want to swing at the first pitch because pitchers d d want to walk him so many times. He's just going to figure it's going to be a ball because that, that's the approach I've seen from Aaron Judge recently. He's not going to swing at that first pitch. You guys think about this crazy Aaron Judge situation. I wish I could see him hit home runs every time and always get an at-bat, but these pitchers don't want to give him a chance sometimes. Uh, they'd rather just give up the walk. I think we're even going to see scenarios where the bases are loaded, like Soto, Verdugo, or whoever is second gets on base, then Aaron Judge is going to get walked. Uh, now, base is loaded because the pitcher would rather give up the one run than four runs because Aaron Judge has that much power that he can hit from anywhere on the mound, even if it's not exactly a strike. Like, if it's a baseline strike, he's going to reach out there. He's still going to hammer it. He still could. You know, it's always a possibility. Pitchers are freaking scared to pitch at Aaron Judge. That's all there is to say to it. Pitchers are too scared to pitch to Aaron Judge. They just walk him. Whether it's an intentional walk, he just gets right on base, or whether it's four pitches and they're four balls. It's wild. 
to say the least. It's wild. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I just want to talk about Aaron Judge real quick. And that he's reached base on a number of occasions. And it's, it's amountable because of how many times he's reached on base and these pitchers are giving him so many balls. He's walking, he's getting hits, he's getting home runs. It's whatever for Aaron Judge, you know? He just has that unleashable power. He's like a dog out there. He got that, that pit bull in him, you know? Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.